Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Happy Friday. We're gearing you up for the weekend with a ton of tamales. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Oster Hage. And we're going to, you know, get all these great uh, tamales going here in a second. I hopefully get to eat because I'm just eyeballing that plate right there. <laughs> but first of all, because this is not just a food, but it is a, it's a tradition. It it's really a, it's is. just a, like a party sometimes. We want you to share not only your, all your great pictures of your tamale making and everything parties mm-hmm. with your friends, but tips. Yes, yes, because you know folks out there have got them, especially passed down from generation to generation. So share those tamale tips at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. And if you're one of those that goes, no, that's my tip for my grandma, I'm sharing. We're not going to tell anybody. Yeah, shh. Just share with us. Just, just with us. Be between, <laughs> just between you and us. <laughs> okay. Well, this weekend, the biggest tamalada in the Alamo City is happening in historic Market Square. From tamale workshops to local tamale vendors and live entertainment, there's going to be something for everyone. So Carino Cortez with Familia Cortez Restaurants <laughs> is here to give a tamale Lesson 101 right yes. here, yes. yes. <laughs> and you've just, what I was just going to say, just watching you, it's, it's almost relaxing. Well, watching somebody it else is work relaxing. is better, but you've just, you've just been kind of just kind yeah. of in And t- that's here, what so. tamaladas are all about. It's about having fun. Yes, you do a lot of work, but getting together, enjoying stories, and passing on this tradition to the next generation is really important to us. All right, you have got a couple of tips. You mentioned about the penny. The penny, that my grandmother taught me that one. And then the other one is about your masa. So if you have terrible masa, your tamales are not going to taste good. So number one, always taste your masa. I know a little bit's not going to kill anyone. You we all like eat cookie dough. Because dough. Okay. <laughs> um, if it's not seasoned, mm-hmm. it's just not going to be great at the end. So we can taste this a little bit. We'll, so we'll spare Fiona. A little, a little bit of <laughs> nice and seasoned. Okay. Now this is supposed to be nice yeah. and fluffy and mm-hmm. aerated because if you ever have a dense tamale, it's not so great. So you're going to drop some of your masa into ice water and see if it floats. And it sure does float. So that means that it's nice and aerated. The lard in there is, is going to do the trick, and you're going to have fluffy tamales. So oh. if it sinks if it like sinks, a little rock, mm-hmm. well, how do you fluff it up? Okay, then? put it back in the mixer. and Well, first put it back in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes mm-hmm. to firm up the lard, and then whip it up in the KitchenAid mixer um, or with your hands. Or um, until it's nice and fluffy. So kind of like egg whites or, or cream. Yeah, or something. You're so, just trying to yeah, get, some get air, air in it, there. So. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize that was the case with the, with the tamales. So, okay. right. so you're ready to start? get your hands dirty. Yep. Okay, so you start with your oja, which is your corn husk over here. So you're going to okay. pick one. And the great thing about these is go ahead and just cut off until you have one about this size. Okay. And then, so we had our masa here. here. Mm-hmm. Is that one? Oh, you I have, have a little two. baby one, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> and then you get a nice big spoonful of your masa, so go for there. Okay. All right. And then there's different ways to spread masa. And so because this tradition is deeply personal from family to family and person to person, no doubt somebody's going to tell you you're doing it wrong. Because right. <laughs> they all have their way, right? Yes. I hear that all so, the, time. the way they think is best. Yeah, some people say you have to spread it with your hand, you have to use a spoon, you have to use this little tamal scraper device that they sell now, I think, at Whatever works for stores. you, right? Whatever works for you. All you're doing is getting masa on the oja. And you're going to do the top two-thirds of the corn husk right here. Okay. And we, you know, flavor our masa with cumin, salt, and ancho chili puree. So Ooh. it's got that little extra. And that's where, it, I mean, there's no real hard and fast recipe for it. Whatever no, works. No, it's, you, wanna... you know, everybody has their own traditions. Okay. Red chili pork is what we have here. And we also have a, a recipe card that you'll get if you buy tamales from mm-hmm. us. Um, and... You can fill it with anything, from bean and cheese to make them sweet, chocolate, whatever you like. And even if you got some leftovers in the fridge, you can put that in there. You can do. I've made turkey tamales before, after Thanksgiving, and those people love those. Okay, as we're rolling these up here, one more quick. We want to talk about the tamalada coming up tomorrow too. So, so it's you know, San Antonio is known for family and culinary traditions. So we have the largest tamalada happening down here in Market Square. Um, It starts at 11 a.m. and it goes to 7 p.m. We'll have a dozen vendors. So you can buy tamales just to taste that day. Do your own tamales tour. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Or you can buy dozens to give to friends and family. 
we'll have the Tamal Institute right here at Centro de Artes, different lectures and panels from chefs, historians. So if you want to learn about Maíz 101, you can go ahead and come on down and, and learn about that, or you can do, you know, learn from different tamal making companies. And it's also something uh, kids can come to too, right? So, so many kids' activities. The Central Library is coming, and they're actually, they made their own little puesto, which is a booth like we have in Market Square. Mm -hmm. And um, the kids are going to be making Play-Doh tamales and selling them. They've got coloring sheets, story time. We have poncho claws. If you haven't taken your Santa <laughs> pictures yet, take advantage of our free poncho right. claws pictures. <laughs> Play-Doh, so it's a good excuse to eat play -Doh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Put a disclaimer. And, and you have a giveaway happening, Yeah, right? we have a giveaway. So go to our Mi Tierra Cafe mm -hmm. um, Facebook page. We're going to share it on Essay Live as well. And people are going to get to win a gift card to Mi Tierra, this bag over here, Maseca, an apron, this tote bag, a recipe card. So make and, sure you enter with your favorite tamal picture. And if you're lucky, they'll throw in a lucky penny too so you can put that oh, yeah. in the bottom of your pocket. Well, and yeah, and I know we mentioned the penny earlier, but for those who missed it, yes. what is the penny So when for? you're cooking your pot in here, you're going to fill it up with about an inch and a half of water. Put your penny in heads up. For good, luck. for good luck. And if your pot runs out of water, then it'll rattle and alert you so you don't have burned tamales. Mm -hmm. Well, and also if you just saw the seven day from Justin and we we're talking about mm -hmm. this, it's mm -hmm. going to be it's gonna be cold tomorrow. Uh -huh. It's gonna be a little bit breezy, but it should be the rain's gonna be just right. tonight and bring a jacket. <laughs> yes, bring a jacket and <laughs> you get warmed up with eating all the Oh, with all oh, the yeah. tamales. Yeah. They'll warm up your hands. <laughs> all right, don't forget the La Grande Tamalada is happening tomorrow from eleven till seven PM at Historic Market Square, and this is a free event for the entire family. And for more information, visit LaFamiliaCortez.com. <laughs> Reno, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, from savory to sweet, are you ready for some chocolatey goodness? Are you? I'm are you? Him. I think David Elder is. Too. He's <laughs> he over there live is. at uh, Kilwins. What's going on, David? Yeah. Hey, guys. What's going on? Yeah. I'm just out here. It's, it's uh, got my second job for the day. This is what we're doing today. Do you guys mind if I take a break? Yeah. Hey, I, uh, I think they mind. I really wasn't contributing much, but we're walking around. You guys, we're out here at Kilwins over by Alamo Plaza, and this is a brand new facility out here. All kinds of sweets and treats and delicious chocolate things for the holidays. And with me to talk more about it, Larry Rosenberger, owner of this location here. How's it going, Larry? Hey, David, it's good. Take a break and have some peppermint ice cream for Christmas. Have you been holding this for a while? I've been holding this <laughs> drippy, drippy. You got to look. I'm going to take a bite of this. You got to take a look. Oh, wow. That's really good. Oh, my goodness. Now, Larry. You have all kinds of sweets here right in front of us. Talk to us a little bit about what you got here. I mean, you got a little bit of everything, oh right? Gosh, David, we have our handcrafted fudge, which we make on that marble table. Some uh, crispy treats covered in chocolate right for the holidays. Caramel apples are one of the favorite. I tell you, we have, without question, the best confections you're ever going to enjoy, David. And we're all about creating enjoyment, make people happy. We want to just treat people the way we want to be treated, do our best and have fun. Come on out and see us at Kilwins Alamo Plaza, just a short 300 steps from the Alamo. There you go. Go, go check out the Alamo for this holiday season, of course. And you come out here, you get some great treats. Now, you got all this in front of us, but you also have this huge Santa right behind us. Talk to us a little bit about this Santa and the event going on tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Thank you, David. The, uh, this Santa is 23 pounds of chocolate. He's 100% edible. And Kilwins has been making fine confections since 1947. This is the kind of handcrafted beautiful things that we have. This one is going to be donated to St. PJ's, the orphanage, and on Christmas Day, they're going to have a great time with 23 pounds of chocolate. <laughs> I bet, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're doing more for families out at Hemisphere. Super fun Saturday from 1 to 3. Bring all your families out. It's free. Kilwins is sponsoring it. We want you to have a great time. Come to Kilwins before or after the Super Fun Saturday. And that sounds like a super, super fun Saturday if you come out to Kilwins and do all that. Well, there you also have your Fiesta medals right here. And it's only going to be $10 to come out here and get your Fiesta medals. We're actually rocking them right now. Check it out. Now, these are actually replicas of the sign that's outside. And they're going to go towards a great cause as well. And you guys, all kinds of sweets and treats. And now we're going to be checking back in out here a little bit later in the show. And we're going to show you actually how they're making these sweet treats, including that peppermint fudge that you see right there. Larry, I'm so excited. Now, this is really good. Yeah, thank you, David. I'm glad you like it. It's our original recipe ice cream. We've been making it for 40 years in our dairies in Pennsylvania. It's all delicious. And like you say, drippy, drippy. Eat it quick, David. Eat it quick. I just can't get enough. It's so good. <laughs> well, Larry, you guys have a lot of great stuff, but... 
I'll tell you what, I'm gonna keep eating, but we're gonna send it back to Mike and Fiona over there at Market Square. You guys, I'm telling you, this is some of the best ice cream I've ever had. This is really good. Thank you very much, David. Boy, I tell you what, you better bring something back to the uh, the newsroom. Right? Yeah. Always. Office. Chocolatey goodness. Mm -hmm. I better go run by the station. Anyway, hey, every month we team up with, uh, SA Live teams up with Go Public and Orange Theory Fitness to highlight a school district and their cool programs that are positively changing students' lives. This month... Mm -hmm. The battle was at Judson ISD between Metzger Middle School, Judson High School Theater Program, and Veterans Memorial High School. And the winner is... That was the symbol, by the way. Yes, the Judson High School Theater Arts Team. Yay! Congratulations. The fine arts programs offered there are cool because students have the opportunity to participate and compete in a wide variety of theatrical experiences, ranging from musical theater, costume construction, theater production, and technical theater. The program also allows students to learn and express their own creativity while increasing their self-confidence and helping them to excel in other areas of their education. And it's cool. All the programs are very, very cool. So once again, congratulations. And for more information on Go Public, visit the salive.com and click on the Cool Schools tab. Or you can also visit wegopublic.com and follow them on social media at wegopublic. All right, still ahead on the show, our 12 Days of Christmas giveaway it's continues. Christmas. We're going to be announcing what we're giving away on day five of Pride. Plus festive candles to one-of-a-kind stocking, stuffer, stucker, stocking stuffers, that too. <laughs> Get your Christmas shopping on at Bell & Union. Gift ideas are coming up next, so stay with us. That's because you had a mouthful of tamales. I know. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you're looking to check a few names off your Christmas list, we have got the place for you. Bell & Union at the Quarry has all of those great gifts that you look and go, oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. I mean, just such unique things. And Meg Sutton is here. Let's start. And this is pretty much anything that you can think I mean, of or not literally think of. everybody on your list so the shop is actually 50 percent our product that we mm -hmm. design and make a lot of it right there in the store on our antique letter presses and the other half is going to be other artisans and makers but the one thing to note is everything is always 100 percent american made okay let's start at that end and i yeah. see a bunch of kitchen utensils exactly these are hand carved in indiana they are beautiful pieces and they all have a fun phrase engraved in the handle so you've got a little butter spreader with butter my biscuit um, that's going to be our paddle which says sweet my tea good for those big pitchers just <laughs> makes a bad. really fun gift i love uh, tying a couple together with a big red bow and maybe on top of a cookbook and then it's ready to go oh, great those gift are, those are good solid yeah they will yeah. last a lifetime they are definitely heirloom quality pieces for sure okay and then candles everybody loves candles. great for hostess gifts exactly too. we love these candles they are soy based so they burn really really beautifully very clean um this small guy will last you about 60 hours and the big one up to 85 hours so they will last a really long time the those are made on a maple syrup farm in New York. Really? Yeah. Interesting. And little just things that you don't think of that are just perfect stocking stuffers. Again, mm -hmm. the little salt and pepper, which is the uh, pickup truck with the small little trailer exactly. on the back. Exactly. So this started out as one of my little doodles. And we said, all right, how do we turn this into something three-dimensional? So that's exactly what we did with our little salt and pepper shaker set. Those are uh, handmade from a mold um, from a company up in Pennsylvania. Something that is great. Uh, you know, you think of getting this for the kids sometimes, which is like, ah, oh, what I get? But stationary and thank you notes, something personalized, and you make them right there, exactly. right? Exactly. So we have two antique letter presses that we still use to this day. Um, one of them is from the early 1900s. The other is the late 1800s. But they've been modernized just enough that we can print what we want to now. So we've got this lovely book in the shop, and it actually is full of several designs um, that you can pick from. Mm -hmm. Add your name, add your mom's name, or even their Instagram handle if they're really into that. Um, but you get to pick the design, you pick the paper color, and the ink color. So it's totally customizable, and it comes in this beautiful whitewash box so it's a true keepsake that they can have on their desk and then use for years to come that yeah that's one of those gifts that is so so i mean because every time you write a thank you note on personalized mm -hmm. stationery like that it just adds that little something extra exactly to it, so. you're going to impress everybody with that right and then you've got the gifts that for instance our producer rossi absolutely loves <laughs> the stuffed egg why? Just because. It is literally called Happy Egg. And then we have its friend, <laughs> Happy Avocado. Those are our plushies. They're handmade in Houston. So definitely some Whoops. local Texas love. Um, so some really fun, great kids' gifts. Happy Egg and Happy Avocado. Exactly. 
Okay. You know, if somebody just woke up to a happy egg every day, just think how happy they would be, right? I think they double great as dog toys, too, because not everybody has kids. Okay. Uh, you, you have classes as well at your place, right? <laughs> yes, we do. So we have different uh, workshops and events. We've got one tomorrow that is a pottery workshop, um, but all kinds of different stuff. Great gift to give somebody, but maybe you don't know their schedule. So a good other option is gift cards. We can give them that and they can pick anything they want, whether it's a workshop or a gift for themselves. And you're located over there in the quarry, but uh, on the other side. Yeah, we're the on the quarry. small side of the quarry. Quarry Village, so by Trader Joe's and Kendra Scott or the back nine of the golf course for the gentleman watching. Okay, man, open seven days a week? Uh, seven days a week, uh, Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sundays, 12 to 6. Okay, so again, the perfect little place if you need some stocking stuffers for folks, hostess gifts, maybe even teacher gifts. Uh, everybody on your list. Great idea for that, and stationary, really, I mean, that's one of those things the kids will go, what do I need this for? But they can write their thank you notes and won't complain that they don't have thank you notes, right? Exactly. Okay. Well, Meg, thank you very much. And for more on Bell and Union, great gift ideas, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And don't forget the happy egg. Still ahead on the show, Healthy Eats for the Holidays. Idea Public Schools has two colorful recipes the kiddos and the grown-ups are going to love. And rock out this holiday season with Trans-Siberian Orchestra. That and more when SA Live returns. here on the streets of the South Side with Councilman Ray Saldana. And today we're talking about, well, dogs, really. San Antonians love their dogs. There's an upcoming event that's going to offer some free services to maybe help with the concern that's been happening here in the South Side. But it's getting better, right? Oh, yeah. I, so I've been in office for eight years. And if we were shooting this a few years ago, uh, we wouldn't have any trouble finding dogs on the streets of the South Side of San Antonio. You, you would actually find packs and gangs of stray animals. But we knew that if we wanted to solve this problem, what we had to do is uh, not consider it just a dog problem, but a people problem and work with people. You get a little pushback sometimes. You're going door to door and maybe some residents watching even this piece will say, well, I don't want to do that to my dog. But why is it important that they do this? <laughs> yeah, it's a total uh, paradigm shift. It's, it's a way of thinking about your animals, not as, uh, not as just your property, but really members of the family. And for members of the family, you want what's best for them. And so sometimes I'll approach a family and ask them, you know, would you consider spaying and neutering? And they say, you know what, I'm not doing that to my dog or no, you know, I want to have puppies with them and share them with the family. We need to look at uh, animals not as, as you know, uh, groups that we can breed and then try to sell because what happens is that they'll have puppies and they may be able to sell one or give one to a family member, but then they have five others that end up roaming the streets. So that's how we get into the problem that we had mm -hmm. eight years ago and we're slowly ticking away at it. We attribute that to the partnerships that we've got with uh, Humane Society, Animal Defense League, and making sure that not only are we picking up animals and taking them to the shelter, but ensuring that those animals actually find their forever homes and get adopted. Or if they're not adopted, to find a foster to take care of them for some time. Tell me about the foster. Oh yeah, absolutely. So here's what happens. Sometimes our, our shelters are at capacity. Think of them as, as hotel rooms. We run out of hotel space mm -hmm. for some of the animals that we pick up uh, on the streets. And so the way to expand uh, the hotel space is actually working with fosters good-hearted San Antonio residents who care about animals who open up their home and by just giving a dog an extra week or two week to get them off the euthanasia list uh, we can market that dog and if it's not adopted in its forever home in San Antonio what we do is we do these transport opportunities where they'll go uh, to Washington or to the uh, East Coast where they don't have as big of an issue and they have a bigger market for dogs who need to get adopted and uh, I've got a lot of first-hand knowledge with this my my home has gone through at least 30 fosters uh, over the last several years <laughs> Years. So uh, it's a great opportunity for you to be part of the solution uh, and help save a life, really. I love that. So where can people go for more information that are watching this at home? Yeah, I would direct folks to our Animal Care Services website, whether you want to adopt, become a foster, or find out about free spay and neuter opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, there's an upcoming clinic Saturday, December 15th from 10 to 1 at Arnold Ramirez Park. Your dogs can get free rabies shots and free microchipping. There's also low-cost shots available. Uh, tell me again where this clinic is going to be at. Oh, the clinic will be right down here on the south okay. side. It's at Gillette and Sarsamora Arnold Park, uh, Arnold Ramirez Park. All right, no excuses. Thank you so much, Councilman. And for more information, just go to salive.com. We provided all this information. Thank you so much. Next on SA Live, 
Day five of our 12 days of giveaways. We'll announce today's big prize right after the break. Plus, we're making a balsamic maple kale salad recipe. Perfect for the holidays with Idea Public Schools. It is day five of KSAT's 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. The day four winner walked away with San Antonio Missions baseball fan prize pack, a four pack to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, a night of holiday glow at the Old West Christmas Light Fest, and Alamo Candy Party Pack. Now for the day five prize, it is from Moody Gardens. They're giving away a holiday family two packs. They include an entire day of Christmas fun with admission to the Festival of Lights, the Aquarium Pyramid, the Rainforest Pyramid, a ride on the Colonel Paddle Wheel boat, ice skating, and a whole lot more. And you also get all the prizes from days four, three, two, and one. So many prizes for one very lucky winner. You can enter to win right now on ksat.com slash 12 days or on our Facebook page at SA Live KSAT on day 12. You will win all of the prizes for all 12 days. So keep entering every single day to win. Speaking of Christmas in 12 days, can you believe Christmas break is right around the corner for the kiddos? We're sharing a couple of healthy recipes that you can make for the holidays with Joe Morales, who is the cafeteria manager from Idea Ingram Hills. Christmas vacation is, yeah, it's what, two weeks away? Oh, we're counting down like the that? days. I know. Oh, teachers, kids, everyone, we're counting down days to get there. And Christmas break for Christmas teachers. Christmas break, everybody, So we're yeah. talking about some healthy lunches, but I'm thinking kids and hell and greens and stuff just they don't kind they don't of go seem together. to mix right it seems that you, no. would, you wouldn't think so so no. so what we're going to do is we're going to feature a couple of recipes from my healthy kids here's book that we uh, gave to all our scholars and our parents at the beginning of the year it's going to give them an activity to tie in and believe it or not these recipes are really great they taste great to kind of add a little sweet to it so that we can get those kids involved and they'd be totally shocked when they actually have that plus it's one of those situations where whenever you get the kids involved with making it then they they just start it's, learning it's the ownership and they know and what so they're doing and they're going to love it and they're going to love to eat healthy so instead of going here eat that if they make the salad they're much more involved you can get your buy-in they're going to learn things that mom and dad the salad I make. Yeah. okay so this is kale which is one of the healthiest things you can eat and you said one of the secrets to that is one of the secrets when you're using kale in the salad you definitely want to kind of massage it you know loosen it up because it can a little bit tough like leather but you want to remove that large stem that's in there it's very fibrous so it's not really desirable to be chewing on you know, okay so like chewing on straw. even remove that then chop it up then you want to chop nice it up way. bite-sized pieces and it's good to go and the dressing that you are using so it's not just a regular old balsamic vinegar no not a, no we're it. actually making this one right on the spot so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with that so we'll take a little bit of the uh, balsamic vinaigrette mm -hmm. i'm going to go ahead and pour it in there that's about four tablespoons or so and we got about half a tablespoon teaspoon i'm sorry of the fresh garlic and then we're going to do a little bit of Dijon mustard. That's about two tablespoons. Just Alrighty. shake it out in there. And, and while you're pouring all these different ingredients in, we've got some olive oil, salt, pepper, pepper. and everything. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about Idea Schools. So Idea Public Schools started in 2000 with 150 students and with the belief that we can all go to college. 100% of the scholars will go on to college. Mm -hmm. We've now grown to 79 schools across Texas and Louisiana with 45,000 students. Wow. And we're on track to keep uh, with our legacy of having 100% of our college students go and on into college, which is something that's just phenomenal that we're just, everybody's just buying in. It's just great on that. Um, so what we wanted to do today also is kind of with the holiday coming up, show, showcase these, uh, these recipes. Okay. And the one uh, little trick that you added in there or the secret ingredient was some honey, right? Some, some honey in there to make it a little bit of sweet and then a little bit of Dijon mustard to kind of give it, to emulsify it. So you can okay. see as it turns real thick. So it's just not all runny on there. So it's, and that would taste good on maybe a little bit of fish or even some fish, chicken. chicken. You can apply that to a lot of different stuff. Yes. Balsamic vinaigrette and the honey is just phenomenal when we do All right. So, so now we're going to mix that. We're going to go ahead. We've already mixed that in nice and thick. So we'll fill our bowl with a little bit of the kale salad. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and pour that right over there. Just not too much. Not too much. Just, just a little, a little bit. bit there you go. A little bit of balsamic tends to go a long way. Exactly. A long way. Okay. And the other one you have here. Which is uh, one of my this favorites. is what we call caprese. Yeah, yeah, caprese, or what we call the tomato italiano. Mm -hmm. So the great thing about this, and we're pulling these from these books, is our Healthy Kids Here initiative. So the big thing about the initiative is we want for kids to be healthy. So the way, the one thing what we're doing that is providing them these meals with lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. So this is an example of what we can do for parents to give them an idea, just to get them very interested mm -hmm. in eating healthy, and they realize that this is a lot of fun building it. 
So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with some sliced tomatoes right. and some sliced fresh mozzarella. You can find this in almost any of your grocery stores. Key is fresh mozzarella. This, yeah, this buffalo mozzarella is just, it is wonderful just to you know, eat it with a little salt on there. And while you are assembling that, if somebody's interested in maybe getting their kids enrolled in IDEA, so what do they have to do? So they're gonna to wanna to go to ideapublicschools.org. We are um, taking applications right now for the 1920 school year. So you'll go to ideapublicschools.org forward slash apply. And uh, that's just contingent on space. It's a l random lottery that, that you get picked on. So, But you might as well get it in right then, your application. Yeah, because it doesn't this, guarantee. You may okay. be the first one to apply, but that doesn't mean you're going to get a spot. Okay. So you definitely want to get your application in. Well, if you are interested in that, and I'm interested in this salad, right? Oh, look at how good that looks. What you can do is, for all these recipes and more, visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much. Great ideas there. And Merry Christmas, sir. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. No, no, appreciate y'all. All right. Coming up, Sweet Tooth Cravings. David Elder is at Killwinds to tell you about their upcoming sweet event. But right now, it is time for this week's Cool Zone brought to you by the Buyer Boys. The biggest tamalada in Alamo City is happening at Historic Market Square. You can expect tamale workshops, local tamale vendors, live entertainment. This event is free and open to the public. Very, very kid-friendly as well. Visit LaFamiliaCortez.com for more information. That's this week's Cool Zone brought to you by The Buyer Boys. Electrifying show to bring in the holidays. Perfect for all ages. And this year, the Trans-Siberian Orchestra celebrates 20 years of their winter tour. And we get a sneak peek today of what to expect this year with Ghosts of Christmas Eve Tour. Music director Al Petrelli and vocalist Kayla Reeves join us. Hey there, guys. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, we're good. When will the Ghosts of Christmas Eve Tour kick off? Oh, uh, I think the second week of November will be the downbeat of the first show. But um, Kayla and I are going to start rehearsals pretty soon. And I think we're going to run the show probably about 50 or 60 times before that opening downbeat. We want to make sure that everybody this year has a perfect first show. Such an important year for us. And certainly to get back to San Antonio, where you know, my favorite city on God's earth. We love coming <laughs> home to San Antonio. Well, we love having you and looking forward to you performing in this area. When, what will folks be seeing at this year's show? Well, this year, like always, we're putting more and more chips on the table. We're going to have our biggest production ever. Last year, I think we had 18 tractor trailers, and this year we're coming with 20. 20, yeah. So we're, you know, we're going to fog it, light it, and blow it up, and um, we're going to have our pyro and lasers, and it's going to be the best of TSO, and we're going to have some of the, your familiar songs mixed in with some new stuff, so we're really excited to get to work and come to San Antonio. And it being such a tradition for people and families, what keeps them coming back every year? Uh, I'm going to say the honesty of the show. Uh, Paul O'Neill wrote The Ghost of Christmas Eve years ago, and we had the privilege of filming it in 1998. And the short version of the story is that it's about a young teenage runaway who finds shelter in an abandoned theater on Christmas Eve. Now, she doesn't know why she left home. She doesn't remember what the fight was about. Her parents don't care what the fight is, was about. They just wanted their baby girl home. What we learned is that everybody in your community, as with everybody on the stage, we all miss somebody on Christmas, around Christmas. Uh, everybody in the audience, all they have to do is insert their name or their situation or circumstance into Paul's work and it becomes about them. And I think they've just, they've fallen in love with the story as we have and they really just can't get enough of it. I know that show means of course a lot for folks here in Military City, USA and in the holiday spirit of giving, yes, the show gives back in a big way, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. One dollar from each ticket sold goes to a different local charity and the way that we like to put it is it's really San Antonio giving back to its own community when we come into town. We like to put on the best show as possible and we like to have a good time, but there are a lot of people these days that are less fortunate than we and so that's what we aim to do here in TSO is give back to people that are in need. Trans-Siberian Orchestra presents the Ghosts of Christmas Eve, the best of TSO and more, Sunday, December 23rd at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. at the AT&T Center. For more information and tickets, just head to at and Center.com. All right, it's a chocolate lover's dream. We're taking you to this new downtown shop to get a taste. And David Elder is there getting his sweet on. Oh, yes. 
And Monday on SA Live, we're cooking with the flavor of twang. We'll share some fun holiday recipes, maybe even a cocktail too. Plus, make your nails a little extra pretty for the holidays. We're learning the tips and tricks of nail art from our local. Hey guys, how's it going? David Elder again out here at Kilwins over by Alamo Plaza. Larry Rosenberg is with me again. And now, as you can see, some peppermint fudge has been made back here. And you guys, I get the honor of cutting it. And look at that, like butter. Oh my goodness, that is a chunk of fudge. Now, Larry, talk to me about some of the things that you guys are making back here. I know you're also making this popcorn as well, right? Yeah, David, Mike's making this uh, caramel oh corn on our big marble table. It's fresh popped here, fresh, fresh original recipe caramel. Kellyanne just made the peppermint fudge that you're cutting. And you look oh like you're my. having so much fun. You need to join our team. We're about half. I'm telling fun you, and if you guys have a room for quality control, we, I will be there eating all your food. Amen, this amen. is delicious. You guys really make a great product out here. And I'm telling you, the smells when you come in, it smells like grandma's kitchen if grandma's cooking chocolate. That's right. And all these good things. Now, this popcorn, though, this is coming off. Now, tell me about the process, what you're doing right now. Because it's all kind of stuck together, right? Yeah, we pop that popcorn fresh. And then Mike makes a batch in our original geek kettle here. And then we're, we get that caramel on it, spread it out here at about 230 degrees. And when you come in the door, you smell it, you hear us making it. You're gonna oh. taste it right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's simply sweet in every sense. Look at that, like, oh, oh, hey, hey, don't lose any product. Uh -huh. Look at that, it kind of looks like the state of Oregon. So give it a taste. A little bit, give it a I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give it a taste here. <laughs> too good, oh, too God. good. You wanna try some with me? Oh, I'd love to have up. some, how about Great you, Great popcorn. That's another reference there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. that is so good. Nice and fresh, it's cooked right here, you guys. And the event happening tomorrow, of course, where people can get and come out and get mm -hmm. some of the other and things about the kill ones, it's a Super Saturday, right? Hemisphere Park, that what they're doing at Yonaguana Park is amazing, and Killwins is supporting our community. Not only Hemisphere, first Saturday of every month, but our Fiesta Medals for the Homeless Outreach Program. Right, and they got some popcorn stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you guys, you can go out to the event, make sure you come out here for the holidays. They got Santas, all these kinds of wrapped goodies. Check this out, all kinds of fudge. And Ted, show them, show them, show them. You gotta show them. Look at this. Oh my goodness, all kinds of apples that are dipped in caramel. And this one, check this out. It's called an apple pie apple. Get out of here, it tastes like an apple pie. Come on, all these little treats. And I'm just gonna steal one real quick. David, okay. give that a try what Joanne's doing. Uh -oh. See if you can dip an apple. Can I eat one? Yes. I'm gonna eat one real quick. I'm gonna eat. Uh yeah, Too good. <laughs> can I dip one? Sure. You guys, it tastes like an apple pie. It tastes like an apple pie. Oh my God, I'm gonna dip one. Right okay. Twirl it, it around, leave part of it untouched. I'll clean it. So, if somebody wants to do this kind of at home, because you guys sell the chocolate, what's a tip that they have to make this at home? Buy a machine. <laughs> <laughs> I think the tip has come to out to kill with. Yeah, come to kill with, uh, This is not for at home. This is at kill. There you go. In our kill You don't do this at right home. In the front window. Yeah. All right. What do you guys think? David's first apple, pretty good. Hey, hey, hey. Nice job, David. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't even know how you guys put the season in on there. Look at that. Sugar, 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 baby. Sugar, sugar, sugar. That's what we do. We're just putting sugar on it. You guys, I'm having a blast. I'm gonna keep eating. I'll probably be out here for a couple days. So if you don't see me, this is where I'm at. It is delicious. Everything's great. Larry, give me a high five. Everybody here, you guys rock. Keep it going for the holidays. Hey! They even got a moose. Merry Christmas. The moose is loose out here at Kilwins. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> I love it. I love everything about this place. Come get your treats. Come out to Kitwoods. We're going to send it to break here on SA Live. Stay with us. Celebrate the holidays with SA Live. December 18th at 7 p.m. SA Live's Holiday at the Square kicks off with reindeer, Ooh, Santa, the Grinch, and snow. It's December 18th at 7 p.m. right here at Market Square. Oops. That's coming up in about That's six right. minutes. Earlier, we asked you for your tamale tips and traditions. <laughs> Tracy says, I just eat them. First, peel the husk off, then eat the tamale. Tracy, I love your humor. <laughs> <laughs> Rosalinda says, our family still gets together on Christmas Eve morning to make the tamales. The best tip is don't skimp on the meat. Nobody likes a skinny tamale. <laughs> don't be no skinny to tamale. That, Rosalinda. Yes. Margie says, 
learned how to make them for my sister. Now I'm trying to teach my daughters. Lots of fun and well worth the effort. Yes. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. And Sylvia says, family tradition since we were little making tamales with our mom. She's no longer with us, but our tradition continues. Now I have my daughter, daughter-in-law, granddaughters making them. Christmas couldn't get better than that. I, I, that gives you kind of, it's kind of tingly thinking about yes. that, doesn't it? It's all cozy, wonderful family traditions. especially today and yeah. tonight. Stay cozy mm-hmm. oh, and warm and dry nice if you can. And cuddle up with your jammies and mm-hmm. watch a Hallmark movie. <laughs> <laughs> you always have that playing in the background, don't you? Because that's what I'm <laughs> going to be doing. So, hey, Monday, we're going to oh, be making some... Cocktails for you yep. to enjoy. Yay! Okay. <laughs>